My favorite thing is applying so much highlighter to my upper lip that it looks like I have a milk mustache on, so... Hello, hello, welcome to my video. If you're from my Instagram, I love you. If you're not from my Instagram, love you all the same. So, today I'm going to be reviewing the Trixie Cosmetics Team Trixie vs. Team Katya collection, which I am really excited about. But now, I'm going to try and be as unbiased as I possibly can. Although, I can't lie, these are two of my favorite queens probably ever, so I'm really rooting for them and I'm rooting for this collab. But you know what? If this isn't going to be it, I'm just going to tell you that it's not it and that's that. Okay, but now I'm going to stop talking so here's the video okay so as you can see most of my base is already done would you die if I tried selling this as like oh there's no makeup on my face like I'm, I'm so natural this is very natural comment below anyway I'm just gonna prime my eyes and then I'm gonna jump straight into eyeshadow okay so right now I am drawing out the shape of the look that I want using the Team Trixie palette. Now this is my first time using this particular palette so my reactions are going to be genuine but it's not my first time using Trixie Cosmetics as a whole. Okay so now I'm just filling in the outer portion of that shape that I created but yeah I do own and use the Bottle Blonde eyeshadow palette quite a lot. Now I didn't buy too too many things from this collection because I literally have a problem and buy way too much makeup as is but I got the Team Trixie eyeshadow palette, I got both of the lipsticks, Stacy and Red Scare, and I also got this adorable mirror. Look how cute, this is so adorable. But what I was most excited about, honestly, was the Red Scare lipstick, because their first collaboration, Red Scare, I was unable to get my hands on it, and so ever since they did that, I was like, I'm waiting for the next Trixie and Katya collab. And then this one was announced and I was like, oh, I'm getting the lipstick. Absolutely, by any means necessary. So naturally I got it and it's going to be the star of the show today. So that's why I went for a brown based type of look. I might actually put on a little pop of yellow or maybe even mint green from this palette. I think it would complement the red nicely and also the colors in this palette, you guys. So pretty. They're honestly screaming my name. So now that I've had about a minute to blend this color out, I'm just blending it and diffusing it sort of further up into my crease right now, as you can see. But now that I've had a minute to do that, I can safely say that this does feel exactly like the same formula from Bottle Blonde, if not even a little better, a little smoother for some reason, maybe. So if you own the palette from that collection or maybe even Plant Gay, and you're thinking about getting this one, you definitely should. As you can see, I'm blending it with ease and there's so far no fallout on my face whatsoever. The eyeshadow is also not patchy at all and this first shade that I grabbed is True to Pan, which I love. One of my pet peeves is when you get an eyeshadow palette and you're like, oh, I'm really excited to use this color and then you apply it on your lids and it looks nothing like it does in the pan. I've recently had an experience like that actually with a very similar color to this one, a very pretty sort of medium brown. I applied it to my eyelids thinking I'm just gonna do a natural look today and in the pan looks beautiful. On my eyes, brick red. The way I was boo-boo the fool in that moment was unmatched. Okay, so now I'm using shade Bartender from that same palette to blend that out. It's sort of a brown pinky nude, a very unique pretty color. And again, as you're able to see, blends like a dream, no fallout. I'm having no problems with this palette so far. So as you can see, I'm just using the 50-50 method to blend this out and get the edges really nice and smooth. And then we're going to dig into the more brighter colors and that's when we'll really be able to see what the pigment is giving. Who would play her? By the way, while we're on the subject, I've created a monster. So I've been saying who would play her for like forever since basically Trixie and Katya started saying it on their podcast. And I've just been saying it to everybody. And my boyfriend now is starting to do this thing where I tell him about my day and he cuts me off mid sentence and goes, who would play her? And I was talking to him the other day about something that we were going to do eventually and he goes, who would play them? And I said, who, you and me? Dumb and dumber. Literally. Okay, so now, because I'm a freak, I'm just using a little bit of a fluffier detailed blending brush to just buff out the edges. It has nothing on it. It's clean. 
and then we're just gonna pop a little bit more of that darker color just in the very inner part and then I swear we're moving on. Okay, so now I am just stamping on that cut crease shape we already have going on. And you know what? These shades are so easy to work with that I don't even have to clean it up with Vaseline. I can just stamp this on and go, so that's gonna be great. So one last step before we get to the cut crease of it all. Right next to the edge of that brown, that darkest brown, I'm applying the shade Bartender, which we blended all of this out with, so that it kind of molds together. Okay, so I'm taking the shade Champ and applying that to a flat brush and applying that in the inner corner. Ooh, as you can see, that's pretty pigmented and very pretty. Although, as you can see, this shade has quite a bit of fallout in the pan, a little bit on my face as well, but we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Now I'm grabbing the shade and pose and placing that right next to that yellow. And that shade, so pretty. Look at how it's almost like a, like a neon shade. Oh, I love this one. So what we've discovered so far is that the colorful shades do have a little bit more fallout than the actual browns and neutrals did but I mean there's not a lot on my face there is a little bit in the pan though which you know what I'm not that mad about that I mean I know people are but I'm not and as you can see this blended beautifully with the yellow so again blending no qualms Oof. okay look at my desk that yellow shade is a little crazy that fallout is a little crazy and pose not as much but still a little bit more than I would personally like but there's not that much fallout on my face though so okay so in all honesty I'm looking at my face right now and I'm trying to see like where the fallout is so I can clean it up but truth be told I can't see almost any fallout on my face at all and that's pretty surprising because a lot of it was in the pan but you know what if there has to be some fallout I would rather it be in the pan then on my face so I'm good with this so now I'm just slightly blending out the dark brown with that lighter pinky brown just a little bit I don't want it to go too far down okay you know what since I am really really feeling this look I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of glitter eyeliner right above where I cut that crease okay so as you can see flawless eye look now I'm just gonna finish the rest of my base and then we're gonna move on to the lip By the way, if you've noticed, my brows seem to be going through a moment at the minute. They're kind of, I wouldn't say going their own separate ways, you know? These brows are definitely neighbors who, you know, stop and chat with each other in the hallway when they see each other, but they're not sisters and they're not twins by any means. So, I'm mentioning it just so you don't have to, you know? It's one of those types of moments. I don't know if we're supposed to be over highlighter by this point or not, but I'm certainly not over it, so you know the drill. So first of all, I'm just going to line my lips. This is a Wet n Wild pencil, I believe, so I'm just going to line my lips with this, and then we're on to a red scare. Okay, here we go. One swipe. Okay, well, wait. Oh my god. Okay, that's really pretty. Oh, that's really- wait, this is so pretty, I could die. So initially, as you were able to see, I thought that this was a really pigmented one swipe type of lipstick. I don't know why I expected that, but that's just what I expected. And then I applied one swipe and it didn't really swatch how I was expecting it to swatch. But something even better happened, which is that I discovered that you can get this to look like this and even more pigmented. Or you can just sort of wear it as a pop of color. It doesn't have to be this bright and dark. This lipstick is buildable in the best way possible. I'm not sure if this red quite goes with my look today. In fact, I'm quite sure that it doesn't go and I just look like, you know, a clown. But should I also swatch Stacy? Because I have Stacy too. I'm actually gonna do that. Hold on a minute. Okay, so now I'm just using a pink lip pencil as a base for Miss Stacy. So first swipe of Stacy. Yeah, just like Red Scare, this could really just be worn as a tinted lip balm if you wanted it to. 
but I don't, so... No, I'm pretty sure it's not allowed to make a lipstick like this. Like, this is too good. Like, give the other brands a chance, Miss Tracy. Okay, so I'm keeping this lipstick on because you need to see it. I need you to feel it. I need you to just absorb it because it's stunning. Girl, I was so excited about my final thoughts and to talk about these products that I tried here today that I almost forgot to apply mascara and looked like a naked mole rat on here yet again. But you know what? Not on my watch. So now, my final thoughts. Let's start off with the eyeshadow palette. So as you were able to see, I had no problems creating this look on my eyes with this palette today. It wasn't patchy, it wasn't chalky, it was beautiful, it was pretty creamy, blendable, very nice, and also pretty pigmented. The only ding that this palette gets for me is that there was quite a bit of fallout. Now, none of it got onto my face miraculously, but there was quite a lot of it in the palette itself. Which to me, although I give it a ding, that's not that big of a deal to me. Like, I wouldn't say that's a deal breaker to me personally, but honestly, decide amongst yourselves. But for me, that does mean that I would repurchase a Trixie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette again. Now, when it comes to the lipsticks, and this is something that Trixie has been saying on her channel for a while now, and that's that she does make makeup for drag queens and, you know, people like herself who use a lot of makeup, but she also makes makeup for like normal people who just want a pop of makeup here and there. And I knew that going into this, I knew that, but I didn't know. You know what I mean? Like I knew, but I didn't know because these lipsticks are just so beautiful. They're incredible. I love them. I thought that I was gonna, you know, swipe once and it was gonna be full pigment, but it's not that at all. You can completely tailor this lipstick to your wants and needs. So if you wanted to wear it like a tinted lip balm, you could absolutely do that. Just, you know, put a little bit on and run out of the house. Or if you want maximum color payoff, like clearly I do, then you can do that as well. And it doesn't make it any less comfortable. You know what I mean? Because sometimes if you have buildable lipsticks, the more you apply it, the like crinklier and crackier your lips get. But this isn't that at all. It's actually very comfortable. It feels like a very natural lip balm. Not too greasy, not too matte. Perfect finish and consistency. I would say honestly that the finish of this lipstick is probably like a sort of natural matte finish. It's not completely matte, but it is natural. Although I did have a little bit of lip balm on my lips before I applied it, so that also could have been a factor. But I love the finish and I love everything about this lipstick and I think for the price that you pay, this is a great product. So will I be repurchasing the lipsticks again? Absolutely, definitely. In fact, I'm just gonna go on the website right now and take a quick peek if they have any shades left in stock because I need this formula in all colors and I really don't care. Trixie Cosmetics, please take all my money. Also, what I wanna add here is that the packaging is so cute and so beautiful. I just wanna display all of this on my vanity all the time. Even the little unicarton, like come on, even the little unicartons are so cute and I normally throw these away almost immediately, but this is too cute. And I personally, as a makeup lover and as a person who owns a lot of makeup, really appreciate cute packaging. That's in fact what sometimes tips me over the edge. So I love that. I love this brand even more now that I've tried their lipsticks, if that's even possible and I will be purchasing from them again. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.